Hi everyone, it's Elena here from Lavinia Stamps Design Team. Thank you for joining me today and I hope you're all enjoying this fabulous halaganza that Lavinia Stamps have put on for you all. Full of inspiration, fun and giveaways. Plus also we've got this fabulous stamp collection just released, Winter Whispers. Isn't it a fabulous collection? And I'm using the fabulous new fairy star. And I've also used some of the beautiful snowflakes on this card. I'm going to be using Elements Dark Denim just to create our background. So we're going to be using one of the hill masks. And we're just going to start blending, building up our scene. And we're just going to create a quick background just by blending. And then for stamping, I'm going to be using Versafine Claire Nocturne just to do all of our stamping with. For colouring, I'm going to be using Brian Zeal watercolour pencils. And this is going to create some colour to our lanterns, to our winter berries and to our gorgeous fairy star. Then I'm going to do some heat embossing using the snowflakes. So we're going to be using Versamark and I've used Wow Bright White Embossing Powder just to do our beautiful snowflakes with. I'm going to be using some glitter pens. So I've got a gold, the Stardust one and the red one just to add a bit of colour to our lovely fairy. A yellow pan pastel just to create some glow around our lanterns. A white uniball pen just to do some gentle highlights on our fairy. A white Posca pen just to create some little tiny snowflakes into the background. I'm also going to be using some texture paste and that's just to create our snow effect. So if I lift this up you should be able to see our snow effect just by using the texture paste. I'm going to be using a sentiment. So I'm using sentiment sticker sheet two which is the wintry one and I've just used the word twinkle here because there's a lot of sparkle on this card. I'm going to be using stardust stickles and that's going to be used on the snow just to give it a bit of sparkle and then white opaque and rouge liquid pearls and those are just going to create some interest on our fairies. So let's look at the stamps that we're going to be using. The tree branch where the mini fairy lanterns are going to be hanging up from. Our new fairy. Isn't she adorable and so beautiful and so much detail on her. If I just bring that up you'll be able to see all of that tiny detail on her. I'm using one of the winter berries and I'm using this tiny little snowflake from the snowflake collection and then I'm using two of the small new snowflakes. So if I bring that up you'll be able to see all of that beautiful fine detail on them. So let's get started. The piece of card that I'm using for today is three and a half inches by seven and three quarters and this is going to fit perfectly onto a DL card. So I'm just going to get some copier paper and place my card on top and then I'm going to position star roughly where 
I want her just as a guideline for where I want my horizon to be and I think I'll just start there so I'm going to keep that into place and I've just put a stamping block next to me just so that I can blend my brush so I'm going to use elements dark denim to start off with so I'm going to dab my brush into it and then just blend it onto my stamping block and then we're just going to gently start to build up our horizon line and we're just going to gently blend that into our background and I'm not looking for a smooth blend I want it to be quite moody and cloudy so we're just going to keep picking some of that ink up and then just swirling that around creating our background so we can just keep going around because we're creating a snowy scene so we're just going to keep swirling around until you're happy And I think we'll bring this down and just do another bit just at the bottom here. So just using that ink off our stamping block and we can just gently just create another line here. There. And you can if you want to create another hill in the distance. So I'm going to go into my background picking up some of that ink off my stamping block and then just going to gently just blend that over just so that this hill is in our distance so we're just going to keep blending lifting that up there. so now I'm using my stamping platform so I've positioned my card into place and also star and to stamp with, I'm going to be using Versafine Claire Nocturne. So I'm just going to pick her up and then ink her up. Just giving her a good ink up with the ink pad. Then stamp her. And there we have our beautiful fairy star. So I've put my card onto some copier paper and now I'm going to use the tree branch stamp. And for that, I'm going to be using Versafine Claire Fallen Leaves. So we're gonna ink that up and then we're just gonna stamp some branches at the top here. So I think we'll go for one up the top here Give that a good firm press down and then stamp another one. There. Now I think we'll go for a here. There. And then I'm going to use the mini fairy lantern, just like what she's holding in her hand. And for that, I'm going to go and use Versafine Claire Nocturne to stamp with. So let's just ink this up and then all we're going to do now is have this hanging down from the branches. So I have that one there, ink this up and I think we'll have another one up here and then we'll have another one up here. So we're just going to stamp that now. So now we have our three lanterns at the top. And now I'm going to use the winter berries. And for that, I'm just going to use again Versafine Claire Nocturne. So let's just ink that up. And this is going to go along the bottom here. So let's just create some lovely winter berries. There. 
need some more down here. And maybe I want more. And I think we'll just do one more just up this corner, just so that we're decorating this bottom right corner. So now we're going to colour in our scene. So I'm going to be using Brian Zeal watercolour pencils. So I'm going to use number 711 and this is just to colour in our lanterns. So give that a quick bit of colour and then the one for the one in her hand. There. And then also we're going to use number 720. And for this one we're just going to go around the edge of our lantern. Now I'm just going to use some water, taking off the excess, and we're just going to blend this all in together now. I'm just going to move my card around, take off the excess and just gently blend that all in. So we've got a lovely glow on our lanterns. And now I'm going to be using a red and a green. So this number is 778 and 723. So I'm just going to use the red 723 and we're just going to blend a bit of colour onto her hat. So I think we're going to do one, this one, sort of thing. Just so that we get those lovely red and white stripes. And then I'm going to use 778 just to quickly add a bit of colour to her skirt. Yeah. And then I'm also going to use number 730 and this is just going to be to add some colour to her hair. So I'm just going to quickly add a bit of colour. And then again, just by using some water and our brush, taking off the excess, we can just blend this all in. So we're just going to pull that to the front just so that we get a lovely blend. And the hair, we're just gonna blend that all in. Yeah. So I'm gonna go back to seven, two, three, and we're just gonna gently add a bit of color to the berries here. Okay, and then again, we're just going to use our water brush just to help to blend this colour in. And it's always best to do it lightly and then build it up. So, so now I'm taking my brush to my pencil, taking the colour off my pencil and adding it to my berries just to create a bit of shadow. So 
we're just going to keep picking that colour up and adding some shading. So now I'm going to use a white uniball pen and we're just going to create some soft highlights onto our fairy and all I'm going to do now is just follow the line and then just use my finger just to gently blend it in just so that we get that soft gentle highlight on her and do her beautiful face and we're just going to keep building this up so I'm just going to carry on doing this on some on her tummy and down on her legs and then her feet we're just going to build that up there we go So if I lift this up, you'll see this lovely bit of highlight on her just by smudging the white pen. And then I'm going to use a white uniball pen just to do a bit of snow on top of these berries. So we're just going to create a bit of snow on them. So I've just popped my work back into my stamping platform. And now I'm going to use my anti-static bag just to dust off my work because we're going to do some heat embossing and I'm going to use the small snowflakes so let's just pop them off and I think I'm going to use these too so we're just going to pop those around the minute so let's just have a, a play we're going to have that one there, then put that one there. And I'm going to be using Versamark to stamp with. So let's just ink them up using the Versamark. And then stamp. And I think I'm just going to stamp it again, just to make sure I've got it all. There. Put some copier paper underneath and I'm going to use Wow Bright White Embossing Powder. So let's just pop some of this over where we've just stamped. Tap off the excess and we have our snowflakes. So I'm just going to pull that back in and now we're just going to build up using the snowflakes before we heat emboss.
So now it's time to do the heat embossing. So now we've stamped all of our snowflakes, it's time to do the heat embossing. So now we've done it all, you can be able to see now our beautiful, delicate snowflakes. I'm going to be using elements and I'm going back to the dark denim that we did to create our background. So picking up the ink, using our stamping block just to blend that ink around. You can always test it on the paper. And then I'm just going to gently blend over our snowflakes. So we're just going to gently just blend over. And then with a dry cloth, we can just buff this off our snowflakes and they'll come back to being beautifully white. So let's just give this a good buff up. So I've done my mats and layers with a white card and then some silver mirror card onto my DL card just to add a bit of sparkle and now we're going to do the finishing touches. So I'm using a yellow pan pastel so I'm just going to use my blending tool and now we're just going to gently add a bit of a yellow glow just around our lanterns. I'm just going to go around these lanterns just by adding a little bit of a yellow glow. So let's just do these lanterns. Yeah, I want to just bring that down a bit. Yeah, there we go. Blend that down a bit. Then this one, and then this one that she's holding. And you can always put a little bit on the inside here. Yeah. And then because she's holding the lantern, she needs a bit of a yellow glow on her. So we're just going to put a bit on her tummy and a bit on her arm. So if we lift this up, you can see our lovely glow around the lantern. And a bit of gentle yellow on her. And now I'm going to use some texture paste. So I'm going to open this up using my tool and I'm just now going to just gently drag some of this out just to create a bit of a snow effect. So scoop a bit up and I'm just going to spread this over here.
and then I'm going to do the last bit of touches. So I'm going to go back to using the Stardust Glitter Pen and we're just going to add a bit of sparkle to her wings. So I'm just going to do this randomly just to add a bit of sparkle there. And then I'm going to use Stardust Stickles and this is just to go onto our snow. So we're just going to quickly just add some to our snow. There. Just to add a bit of sparkle to it all. And then I'm using Liquid Pearls Rouge. So I'm going to get this working. And I think we'll just add a few just to her skirt here. And I'm also going to use white opal liquid pearls. So I'm just going to use that piece of scrap card just to get this going. And I think we'll just add a white dot here at the end of her hat. Maybe here. Yeah. Let's add some to her dress as well. And that's the finished card. So if I lift it up, you can see that lovely texture paste giving us that lovely snowy feel and those beautiful, delicate snowflakes that we heat in bus. You can also see those beautiful little liquid pearls drops that we did on her skirt. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy the rest of the Halaganza and this beautiful stamp collection called Winter Whispers. Take care. Bye for now. Bye.